Well, this is a very special treat for me. We are joined by the chairman of the American Conservative Union, somebody who doesn't really need any introduction, Matt Schlapp. Matt, thank you for joining me today. I did want to ask you before we dig into kind of broader subjects, we have the DACA thing going on at the Supreme Court. We don't know anything yet. It sounds like they're going to slap down uh, Barack Obama's executive order. But on a broader level, what do we do? What is the conservative position or should be the conservative position on children of illegal immigrants? We can argue all day long about illegal immigration and all this stuff. What, do we, what should we do with these kids? Well, the first thing to remember is I think, Jesse, most of them aren't kids anymore, right? So they've been in this country for uh, a long period. Many have been in this country for a long period of time. And I think back to my time with uh, President George W. Bush, who has seen us very soft in immigration, even he said everybody who's here illegally should have to go to their home country and at least fill out the paperwork to get back in line. Now, he said if you had been in America and you weren't uh, you know, a habitual criminal, you would be able to be expedited to get legal status. So that would be one consideration. That was called a touchback. You'd have to go back to your country of origin or your parents' country of origin in this case. Uh, actually, it's their country of origin as well, even if, even if they came as a young age, and, uh, and, and do it that way. The other thing you could do is there's, you know, uh, through Jared Kushner's process at the White House, it was reminded many of us that there are dozens of visa programs. The other option is, you know, if they are here anyway, can you put them uh, to work in a legal capacity for a temporary period of time before we figure, figure out what the legal solution is? You know, I think the biggest problem with all this, Jesse, is the moral hazard of if you always just do amnesty and allow people to kind of have a do-over, like Ronald Reagan reluctantly did in 1986, it doesn't seem to discourage future illegal immigration. It only seems to encourage it. At some point, America has to decide, is it? Does it actually enforce its immigration laws or not? Yeah, I, and I would argue, and I mean, I don't think I'd get much argument from anybody on this. That's a big reason why we have President Donald Trump. It's a big reason why he stormed through the GOP nomination. Look, I didn't even like him in the GOP nomination process. I was a Ted Cruz guy. But the truth of the matter is the border hawks, they feel like they've never had a win. Whether or not that's true, that's how they feel. All they see is amnesty. They don't see any wall. They don't see any major border security mem uh, uh, measures. They see, a, you know, a little thing here and a little thing there. And oh, by the way, everyone else gets citizenship. And I, I don't see that, go uh, that issue going away as being a winner for Donald Trump. I don't either. And, I, and I, once again, I think the American people would like just to see a fair process. And if you get to come here illegally, you essentially hop in line or jump in line over people who are waiting to come here legally. Uh, you have a lot of people from foreign countries who are waiting to come here. Uh, and why should someone who comes here illegally get to skip? The other thing that President Trump's plan uh, that he's proposed reminds us that we should put first is, why don't we let the people come here who we need to fill jobs here in America? So that you have kind of like an economic centric or merit-based income uh, uh, program, as they call it. Uh, that would make a lot of sense, too. Right now, we kind of have a uh, bleeding heart immigration uh, system. If you come here illegally, we say, well, we it's not good, but we're not going to do anything to enforce our laws. And then we also accept a lot of refugees and people fleeing from really sad situations. But why don't we go back and think through uh, like countries like Australia and others and say, OK, Let's bring in the people we need for the jobs. As you know, Jesse, we have millions of jobs that are going unfilled in our economy. Uh, if we can fill those positions, our economy will grow even faster. Yeah, I agree with that. Now, on to impeachment really quickly. Matt, you're, you're the guy who knows all this stuff. You know all the players. You're, you're, you know this stuff. This looks like all smoke and mirrors to me. I don't want to be a I don't want to be a Trump homer about the whole thing, but honestly, this doesn't look like anything. We have the transcript. Everybody's read it. We have witnesses coming forward to talk about the transcript we've already read. It looks like the Democrats are going to impeach the president of the United States with nothing. Am I crazy? No, you've got it exactly right. That's where we've come to as a country. Uh, the Democrats are impeaching. President Donald Trump because they feel like that's the best way they can defeat him next year. It has, there's no crime. They can't cite any criminal code about any infraction. There's not even a foot fault here. Uh, there, there's just a disagreement about whether or not President Trump is a legitimate president. 
and they don't think he is. And even if they do think he is, they think that this is the right way to weaken them. And it's also Nancy Pelosi's way of managing her caucus in the House. And I think what's critical here is, is that they had a party line vote to start this process. And, uh, and that's never happened in our history. You know, for Nixon and Clinton, we're talking about votes of, uh, in one case, over 400 and the other one nearly 400. That means a lot of Democrats and a lot of Republicans voting for the beginning of an impeachment process on their own man, the president from their own party, because clear crimes had been committed. There's no crime here. This is an impeachment in search of anything to weaken him. 